Hey guys, I want to give a word of, it's a warning and an encouragement. For some it will be a warning and some it will be an encouragement for what the Lord has already affirmed that you are doing and you are obeying. But this is a times and seasons word. The Lord said this is a word for my people in this specific season in the earth. So Father, I ask that you would bless your people, that you would speak to them, encourage them, warn them or admonish them as needed, um, that you would show them the hope that is uh, before them in Christ Jesus and the future that you have for them. And I pray you'd bless them. I pray you'd give revelation, Holy Spirit, from heaven down to us now and that you would uh, bless your people in this time. In Jesus' name, amen. So the word the Lord uh, spoke to me for this time and this season is that it's a time for the people of God to focus on the inward condition of their, of their home life, of their family. It is a time to focus on the spiritual things, the spiritual needs, the purity and the wholeness spiritually of their family unit, of the people that they're responsible for. Um, whether if you're, if you don't have, you know, if you're not married or have kids yet, or you live alone, um, in this season of your life, then it would be you and the condition of your life in your home, um, or those maybe that you have authority over. But and if you have a family in this season, it would be your, uh, focus is to be upon the spiritual health, the spiritual, um, purity of you and those that you are responsible for in your family unit. And he was contrasting this with the opposite reality that many in the body of Christ even are, are focused on, and that is what the outside of the house looks like. If your life is a house, as the Word of God has compared it to, um, many are more focused on what the outside of the house looks like than the inside. And he said to send out a message of encouragement slash warning to um, a warning to those who are focused on how their life looks like, how structured, orderly, um, presentable their family members and their job and their situation, even their physical home, how it looks to others. And to um, he said to, to shift your attention to the important thing in this season. It's so important that we deal with the issues, the spiritual issues, the real issues that are going on behind closed doors in the home and focus our attention, lay aside um, things that maybe even seem important or could seem urgent, lay those things aside, things that you maybe always done as a family um, to keep up your appearance or keep up the schedule and the um, activities you've always done, the vacations or whatever it is, um, to ask the Lord to show you what things can, can fall to the ground in this season so that you can pick up the important uh, task and assignment of making sure your spiritual life as a family, whether it's a single, a couple, a family unit, um, that the spiritual life of your family and the real issues that you guys are dealing with are being addressed in this season. It's so important that we don't ignore that and save that for a later date because we know that the Lord has said, even though many don't want to hear it and they want to block up their ears to it, that more shaking and shaking beyond what we've even seen in the earth is coming in the days ahead. We are not done with the shaking and that we can't hope for it to go back to normal or try to go back to normal and just hold our breath hoping another shaking won't come. No, that is... That is likened to the virgins um, that Jesus described that did not have their, they didn't have oil for their lamps. When the day of judgment came, they weren't ready and they didn't have oil for their lamps. But it, it is being wise, like those wise virgins that had the oil ready for their lamps, that, that it would be wise to focus and, and prepare spiritually your family unit, your home. Ask the Lord, what are the areas that need to be? Um, there might be some deliverance. I, I believe that there's a lot of deliverance that needs to be done in our homes, in our lives. Things getting rid of access points that the enemy has had to our family, to our children, um, to our home. Um, refocusing on the strengthening of our marriages. 
refocusing on the strengthening of um, our children's spiritual condition, not their outward condition and how they appear to others, not how well behaved or um, good in you know in school or whatever um, in their in their life in their job that they appear to be doing. No, the focus should be the spiritual reality, the spiritual health of our family members and of our home. And the Lord will honor that. He made it clear to me that the Lord will honor that when we focus, we choose to lay aside the outside of the house and making it look nice and neat and pretty and focus on the inside, the true spiritual issues that need to be dealt with. There will be so much fruit and blessing that come from that, not just for you right now, but for the generations that follow after you, for your children's children's children and their grandchildren, for that will your decision to deal with those issues to deal with the things that nobody's talking about because they're more focused on um, going to the next event or making everything look polished those things if they're dealt with and they're addressed and they're purified and made right again that will bless the generations and and we have no idea we can't even fathom the blessing that that will have on the generations by choosing to deal with those things and the Lord knows how hard it is for us to not care or concern ourselves with how we appear to others but when you say yes to the Lord that is one of the very first things that he will test you in that he will purify you in is he will have you uh, direct you to do things <clears throat> excuse me that will look so foolish to others that will make the outside of your house look like ridiculous look like you just painted it some crazy wild color and everyone's staring at you wishing that you would have just stayed normal it's um, part of the process that God will root out of you pretty early on when you say yes to following him completely is he will test that you are okay with looking foolish to others that you look foolish to the world and the world system and how things have always been done and how things make sense to others he will purify that out of you I can assure you and so many of you have already gone through a lot of that purifying but continue to keep your focus on the inside anything the Lord highlights to you that needs to be delivered dealt with um, healed um, talked about addressed uh, brought to the forefront um, or gotten rid of whatever it is put it put boundaries around the family the things that you know the Lord that are under the surface that that are really there the real issues let the Lord walk you through the process of those things um, and focus on the inside of your house you will be blessed and there will be fruit and abundance and a generational glory and blessing will follow that for your generations to come